And so, Tim, I've invited Tim in today because I want to talk about a, a subject that uh, is uh, one of my favorite things having to do with the pedal steel. We're going to call this um, today's topic Open String Magic. Hello and welcome. I'm here in the Steel Lab today with special guest Tim Crispin. He is the owner here at Stage Volume Entertainment where we film the Steel Lab series. He's also uh, uh, one of the piano instructors here as well as a drum instructor. Correct. And he's also responsible for all the fine video editing that you see in all of our uh, uh, Steel Lab's uh, series videos. So Tim is the, the guy that makes all that magic stuff happen. And uh, Tim, if you would, tell us just a little bit about your music education and background. All right. Well, uh, so I have um, been playing basically uh, 20 years professionally, um, mostly doing drums. Um, but uh, I went to, to college for a few years and got uh, a degree in music performance and then also in composition and songwriting. Awesome. So uh, I actually started teaching as soon as I got out of college. So I've been teaching and playing for a little over 20 years now. All right. And so, Tim, I've invited Tim in today because I want to talk about a, a subject that uh, is uh, one of my favorite things having to do with the pedal steel. We're going to call this um, today's topic open string magic. And uh, I'm a big fan of the usage of open strings on the pedal steel. And I've invited Tim here today with the keyboard because as we go through along here, I'm going to have Tim play some little examples of things from time to time and let you hear what it sounds like compared to what I'm playing on the pedal steel. And uh, it's also going to help me go through and explain a little bit about some, um, some music theory fundamentals that you know Tim's going to help us get into as we as we cover some of these things about open strings in the pedal steel. So, um, one of the first things I want to talk about is there are a lot of sort of things on the pedal steel as far as open strings that uh, might be real familiar concepts to you. Uh, for example, uh, Tim, let me hear an E chord there, please, sir. Like, for example, if we were to play steel guitar rag, then we know that this is the kind of thing that open strings in the pedal steel or, or the steel guitar is made for, right? So that's the kind of open string thing we're used to on the steel guitar, where we take a, a, a key like E there, because we got all these E notes, and we play all these stuff, you know, using the bar to add other notes in. And that's a real common theme on the, on the pedal steel, right? So, or even the, even the steel before pedals, that was a, a very common theme. Steel guitar rag predates pedals. So, so that's the sort of idea that is this pretty common on the steel guitar and another idea for open strings that is pretty common on the steel guitar is something like this where we might take the bar and we might have that e string ringing in the top and the bar is fretting under it here and we might drone that and play some lines underneath it So that's a sort of a, op a neat open string idea that, that happens on the steel guitar from time to time. All right, now other open string ideas that, uh, that happen on the steel guitar. Uh, concepts like something called chromatic approach. That's where we're sort of uh, leading up to the, to the chord that we're aiming at. And a real good example of this is... Uh, is a, a, a like a lick that Ralph Mooney did on a on a Waylon tune. Uh, uh, just because you asked me to, he's got this little lick that's that's uh, they're going like like this, and that's a situation where all that stuff is the the chord of F, but where you're going on and off with the bar to utilize an open string to get that chromatic ap approach effect, right? So, so that's a, an entirely different kind of open string thing. And then, obviously, if we think about using open strings in like the key of E, well now if we push our pedals down to get that A chord there, Tim, well then we can do similar stuff in the key of A, right? Where, you know, that same kind of steel guitar rag thing. 
And basically what we're doing there is we're just hunting out other scale notes that have to do with A. And so in keys like E and A, maybe we're real used to the idea of using open strings. But what I want to talk a little bit more about today is using open strings in maybe some not so obvious places. And one of the key elements to this idea of open string magic has a lot to do with how I personally choose to tune the pedal steel. Okay. Now, um, as many of you probably know, and maybe of you a lot of you do, a lot of people use some sort of tempered tuning system on the pedal steel. And I don't do that. I tune, I tune the pedal steel exactly the same way the keyboard is tuned, where every note on it is tuned to equal temperament. And so, for example, a lot of people might tune their G sharp strings on the pedal steel, their third string and their sixth string. They might tune those flat a little bit because that, that major third sounds a little softer to the ears when they just play across the chord, right? So some people might hear that and they might think that string sounds sharp to them. Although, Tim, if you'll play me a G sharp there, you'll notice that that is a spot on match to that. Okay. And so one of the central themes of this open string magic concept is that every single note on the open strings of the steel, every single note with the pedals, every single knee lever, every change on my steel, when I turn on my tuner, I want it to be straight dead in the center of the needle, just like it is on the piano. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and this is going to allow me to utilize some open strings that might not otherwise be available to me if the change itself was pretty drastically detuned. Mm -hmm. So, for example, what if we had to play a tune that had a chord like uh, C-sharp minor, Tim? Well, now we know that to play the C-sharp minor chord on the pedal steel, all we have to do is go over here and push the A pedal down. And there's that chord. Now, a lot of times, steel players will tune that A pedal flat, that C-sharp note, because it's the major third when they push both pedals down for that A chord. They want that major third to sound soft, just like they wanted that open G sharp to sound soft. But if Tim plays me that C sharp minor chord again, I'm going to let this pedal off just a little bit. That's about how it's about how flat a lot of people tune that string. Hmm. And so, if I were playing against Tim in a song that happened to be in the key in, instead of Instead of with sharp, me. <laughs> that would be, uh, well, Tim, Tim's, uh, Tim seems to think that that might clash a little bit. <laughs> well, it was just, it was an interesting choice of word that you were playing against me okay. instead of with me. Yeah, Tim, just, you're, Tim, you're always on my team, man. That's I'm, right. I'm never, I'm never playing against <laughs> you, I promise. And, and, and this is, by the way, this is one of the ways we can be a team player on the pedal. Well, stage. absolutely, because I was feeling like when you were just playing the note, we, we weren't it was somewhat against what I was doing here. Exactly. What was not on the same team. See the equipment our pros use at the best prices anywhere online. Support small business and save. 